Hey there, savvy investors. It's your friendly neighborhood investment guru, Mr. Alexander Ernebach here. And boy, do I have a juicy treat for you today. We're diving deep into the portfolios of the super investors, those financial wizards with over $100 million in assets under management. Now, these investing giants are legally required to reveal their portfolio moves four times a year, giving us mere mortals a glimpse into their brilliant minds. And you know what I've noticed? A growing trend towards dividend-paying stocks. Now, make sure to stick with me until the end of this video, and I will show you where you can see which stocks are that the super investors are buying. So, without further ado, let's unwrap the top five dividend stocks that have caught the eye of these investment gurus. But first, I want to ask a small favor from all of you. If you find this content valuable, do me a solid and smash that like button. Let's aim for 1,000 likes on this video. And if you know anyone who might benefit from this dividend wisdom, share it with them. It's an act of kindness, my friends. Now let's dive into the juicy details, shall we? We'll be exploring five fantastic dividend-paying companies. Each one has its own unique story and dividend potential, and I'll be breaking it all down for you in a way that even a novice investor can understand. But before we get too deep into the nitty-gritty, let me set the stage a bit. As an aged yet sprightly businessman with a penchant for dividend-paying stocks, I've seen my fair share of investment trends come and go. However, one thing remains constant, the allure of those sweet, sweet dividends. It's like having a money tree in your backyard, but without the pesky gardening. Now, I know what you're thinking. Alex, why should we care about the portfolios of these super investors? Well, my dear friends, these investing titans didn't amass their fortunes by accident. They have a keen eye for spotting promising investments. And when they start loading up on dividend-paying stocks, it's time to sit up and take notice. So, let's dive right in and unwrap the first company on our list, Apple. Now, Apple may not be known for its high dividend yield, but what it lacks in that department, it more than makes up for in revenue growth and share buybacks. It's like a slow and steady racehorse, consistently crossing the finish line with a solid performance. And let's not forget, those share buybacks can be a powerful tool for boosting shareholder value. Next up, we have Microsoft. This tech titan has been showering its investors with dividend love, boasting a 10-year dividend growth rate close to 10%. That's no small feat, my friends. And with a payout ratio of around 33%, there's still plenty of room for further dividend increases down the line. It's like having a money fountain that just keeps on giving. Now let's talk about Visa. This company is riding the wave of the digital payment revolution, and that spells good news for its dividend potential. Sure, the current yield may not be earth-shattering, but with a 17% dividend growth rate over the past decade, Visa is certainly keeping its investors happy. Yeah! It's like having a money tree that grows a little taller each year. Speaking of emerging dividend potentials, let's not forget about Google. This tech behemoth has only recently started paying dividends, but with its solid financial foundation, the future looks bright for dividend growth. It's like a seedling that's just starting to sprout. But with the right care and nurturing, it could blossom into a mighty dividend-paying oak. Now, as I have promised you before, I will show you where to see what the super investors are buying. Visit dataroma.com or check the link in the description below to see what the big players are buying nowadays. Last but not least, we have AON. This company boasts a low free cash flow payout ratio of 15%, which means there's plenty of room for dividend increases down the line. However, it's not all rainbows and unicorns. AON's declining current ratio is a potential cause for concern. But hey, even the best money trees need a little pruning now and then. Now, before I wrap things up, I want to leave you with a valuable tip. Using a good dividend tracker is the key to successful dividend investing. If you're interested in a free tool that can help you keep tabs on your dividend portfolio, check out the link in the description or visit trackyourdividends.com. I'm not associated with them in any way, but I'm a very satisfied user, and I'm happy to recommend their services. If you've enjoyed this dive into the world of dividend-paying stocks and the portfolios of super investors, leave a comment down below with the word investing. That way, I'll know to keep serving up more juicy content like this in the future. 
Thank you for watching. Happy investing. And don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in more investment wisdom from yours truly. And while you're at it, check out the other videos on this channel for even more dividend-related goodness.